Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is AOA and welcome back to yet another video here on the channel guys. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how you can get a Ben 10 mod on your Xbox One Minecraft. Now yes, this does work with any of the Xbox One styles, whether it be the original Xbox One, the Xbox One S, or the Xbox One X. And of course guys, yes, this does work with the latest version of Minecraft, which at the time of making this video is 1.14 to 1.15. But before you get into the video guys, make sure you leave a like, share, and subscribe for a ton of minecraft content every single day as well as turn on post notifications to never miss out on another upload without further ado though let's get into today's video all right so first things first what you want to do is download this app right here my files explorer now you can go ahead and get it on the microsoft store for i believe 2.99 however there is a 24 hour free trial that you can actually activate every single 24 hours with the new account if you don't want to pay for the app however i do recommend paying for it if you like actually want to mod your minecraft because it makes everything so much easier and you won't have to create a new account every 24 hours but yeah uh, once you get this app installed, head over to your Microsoft Edge app, open that up, and go to mcpedl.com slash bin-10-add-on, or you can just go to mcpedl.com, go over to this little search button right here, and then just type in Ben 10, and it's the first thing to pop up. Now, this is a really sick mod. It adds in just the watch from Ben 10. I, I don't know. Ben 10 was a show that I watched so long ago. I don't really, re like, remember everything but this is like it's so sick but i don't know it, it kind of brings back memories so there's a ton of aliens there's wild mutt within here there's four arms there's gray matter there's i don't even know how to say that <laughs> uh and of course there's the vans and everything it's a really cool uh mob or not mob mod but yeah um once you get to this page what you want to do is go all the way down until you find the um what is it the downloads tab right down here and as you can see just by scrolling through some of these pictures there is so much stuff within here like what is this even supposed to be bro <laughs> all right but anyways what you want to do is find the downloads tab right here and as you can see it works with 1.11 1.12 1.13 1 and 1.15 and i'm sure it'll work with 1.15 once that releases and i believe a month now but anyways once you find the downloads tab just hit a on the click here to download tab and what that'll do is actually bring you directly to a media fire page now once you get to the media fire page just hit a on download that will open up a new tab which you'll actually be able to close as soon as you see the ben 10 add-on media fire page start to load and as you can see it'll pop up with something down here once you get to the media fire page that just says save hit a on save and you'll be good to go now the next step is in my files explorer so go ahead and get loaded in there and i will see you guys once uh, you get loaded in but anyways once you do get loaded in what you want to do is hit a on this little three dot icon over here especially if it's your first time uh, actually loading into this I guess app just go all the way down into settings and then go in change the theme I believe it's originally on this theme however you have to change it to one of these ones on the bottom to actually make it so you could see stuff at least that's how it was when I first got this app but anyways once you do that hit B and go back up to the three dot icon one more time but this time go in to add folder to library once you do that what you want to do is hit the two square button on your controller to basically navigate this little pop-up thing and hit A on this icon right here and then scroll all the way down to the bottom and hit A on select. And what'll do, uh, what that'll do is actually add this uh, user MGR4 folder for you. Now, it might not be user MGR4. The number at the end doesn't really matter. So as long as you have this user MGR whatever number it is um, folder in, you'll be good to go. But once you do get that folder in, hit A on it and then go into the downloads folder right here. Once you do that, what you want to do is scroll down until you see like these, I guess, files right here these mc add-ons and find the ben 10 mc add-on now you probably won't have as many files in here uh like i do i mean i do way too many of these mod tutorials in my opinion but um i mean the mods are really freaking sick so if you see anything in here that you're interested in like uh the hero brian mod i do have a video on that or the five nights at freddy's mod check it out we got it somewhere within this channel but anyways once you find the ben 10 mc add-on hit the start button or three lines button on your controller and then hit a on extract and what that'll do is actually extract the two resource packs and the behavior packs 
from the MC add-on and basically turn it into a folder right here. Once you get the folder extracted, hit A on it. And as you can see, there's an MC pack that you'll have to extract for the behavior. So it's going to go ahead and do that real quickly. So go ahead and hit extract on that. It'll take some time. It won't take very long. It's The behavior packs are always a little bit shorter than the resource packs. And depending on your internet speed, it might not take very long. As you can see, mine's already finished. Now, do the exact same thing with the resource pack. So hit the start button or the unspun button on your controller. Then hit A on extract. And this will take a while. The resource packs always do seem to take a while. So I'll just cut to you guys once mine is done. Alright guys, so as you can see, the behavior pack and the resource pack are both now extracted. Now once you have them both extracted, hit the start button on the behavior packs first. I always like to start with behavior, but it doesn't really matter what order you do it in. And hit A on move folder. Then go over to this little my library section and hit A on isolated storage. And then as you can see up at the top, I have this little packages icon. Hit A on that. Now if you don't have packages, don't worry. I have a tutorial on my channel on how to get that. So I recommend going and checking that out after finishing this video. But anyways, once you hit A on packages, you want to look for a specific folder within here, which is Microsoft.Minecraft UWP console. Now this can, I guess, spawn anywhere within this uh, packages tab. So just look around and eventually you will find it. But anyways, open that once you find it, then go into local state, then games, then con.mojang. And what you want to do is go into the behavior packs folder and resource packs folder. Now, if this is your first time watching one of these tutorials here on my channel, you probably won't have the behavior packs folder and the resource packs folder. Now, it's really easy to get them if you don't have them. You just got to go over to this top right hand corner hit and three dot icon then go into new folder and just basically create both the behavior and uh resource packs folder now you do have to spell it correctly and it does have to be all lowercase so make sure you don't spell anything wrong and you'll be good to go so as you can see i just finished typing up the behavior packs folder i'm gonna hit b and then I'm going to confirm this. And as you can see, it just created a copy. Now, I'm not going to do it for resource packs since, I mean, that just be a waste of time. But you can go ahead and create resource packs if you do not have it. Because, I mean, you got to in order for this to work, if you know what I mean. But anyways, once you get to... Uh, both the behavior packs and resource packs i guess being created go into the behavior packs folder then go all the way over this side and just hit the start button and then go into paste now that'll move the behavior pack all the way from your i guess this device tab to your actual like behavior packs within minecraft so as you can see it is right here uh, right here for me okay but anyways once you get it pasted in just basically do the exact same step so go over to my library hit a on user mgr4 then go into downloads go back into ben 10 and this time as you can see there's only going to be the resource pack within here so hit the start button go down to move folder back into isolated storage back into packages back into microsoft on minecraft uwp console back into local state back into games back into condom mojang and as you can see right here resource packs start button paste and there you go resource packs always takes a while so i'm gonna cut once this is done and uh i'll see you in minecraft to i guess show you the final step so guys my stuff finished and i am loaded into minecraft and as you can see i am still on xbox right here but anyways once you get loaded into minecraft hit a on play and create a new world now since there is a behavior pack involved with this mod I wouldn't risk adding it to a previous world. There's a slight chance that it'll bug out, so I wouldn't just, I wouldn't risk it, all right? But I'm gonna go ahead and go in creative. Now, the mobs do naturally spawn in, so you don't have to go in creative if you don't want to. However, so I could showcase it in just a minute, I'm gonna go ahead and go into creative. Now I'm gonna go into resource packs, guys, and this is the next step, just simply turning, or opening up your my packs, and then going in and activating the Ben 10 resource pack and then of course doing the exact same thing within your behavior pack so there we go add-on created by of course the one and only commander creeper but then you guys can just go ahead and create the world and you should be good to go now in a minute I'm gonna showcase this but I'll see you guys once I'm loaded into Minecraft so guys we just got loaded into the world and as you could see I'm just gonna go ahead and open up all the different mob eggs there is a ton of stuff within here we'll start with the van of course uh, and then we'll move through the list goes to some of the bad guys and then of course we'll get grandpa max and kevin 11 now as you could see the banner uh the van right here I believe it is actually rideable yeah it is that's so cool but um yeah that's the van or whatever 
you can upgrade it and make it shoot stuff which is pretty sick but here is what's this dude's name charm caster what does he do he's good he gonna attack the van the van is driving away from oh no he can lift it up with his mind can he all right but anyways here's accelerate oh they're they're fighting each other accelerate is in the van all right that is weird anyways here's the watch right here I believe you can go ahead and pick this up just by hitting it, maybe. I don't know. But then, here is Vilgax right here. Let's see what he does. Oh, he's a bad guy, too. All right. Here's Stone Creature. That's a bad guy. Here's Kevin Levin. I believe this is the dude that, like, turns metal. I don't exactly remember. I don't remember him being a bad guy, but it looks like he is. Anyways, here's Grandpa Max right here. Let's see what he does. Uh, here's Kevin Eleven right here, which is also a bad guy. It's cool that they all have health bars, too. I apologize if you can hear my dogs barking in the background. Uh, there's probably a UPS man outside. But anyways, let's move on to the next few, which is just Gwyn, Ben 10, Cannonbolt, Wild Mutt, uh, the upgrade, which you can actually upgrade like the van and whatever, Ghost Freak, Grey Matter, uh, Stinkfly, Rip Jaws, Heat Blast, and of course, we got Four Arms and Diamond Head, which we'll showcase in just a minute. Uh, but here is Gwen right here, who can also control stuff with her mind, it appears. Uh, here's Ben 10 right here. He can find the watch, and then he can turn into any of the guys. But it looks like he is getting trashed on by whatever the heck this thing is. Kevin 11. Anyways, let's spawn in Cannonbolt to attempt to help them out. Wild Mutt right here. Ghost Freak. Which is literally invisible until he attacks. Uh, <laughs> spawning gray matter. My frames are dropping so much. There's two of them. Stink fire right here. Is there no bad guys for them to fight? Oh no, that dude's running away. Uh, Rip jaws right here. That's so sick. And heat blast. Iconic Ben 10 character, if you know what I mean. And then, of course, we got the two final ones, Four Arms and Diamond Head. Diamond Head is sick, if you ask me. And Four Arms is also pretty cool. And they're all really big. And gosh, dude, this add-on is just so freaking good. But anyways, guys, that's going to wrap it up for the video. If you did enjoy, make sure to leave a like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out, you freaking nerds.